Welcome. Thank you for choosing to listen to another faith-building message by Pastor David Entry. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing the Word of God. May your knowledge of Jesus Christ increase as you listen. Be blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes when something is ready for somebody and the person is absent, and it's like um, you were supposed to be on the flight and they have prepared a special meal, a, a special meal for you. Your name is on it. Everyone on the flight, just a few selected people, and you missed, you were not on the flight. They called your name. Where is the person? You are not here. Oh no, how I wanted you to taste what it feels like for this particular service. But thank God you are here. So I am happy for you because I am of the firm conviction that God has got something great in stock for you. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes, I your amen is not in vain at all. I'm telling you, if you really believe it, you connect with an amen. amen. Said, I am I am I am of the firm opinion that God has got something wonderful, something powerful, something unique in stock for you right now in the name of of Jesus. In the book of Isaiah it talks about how I the Lord who performeth the counsel of his messengers and he makes diviners mad. He performs the counsel of his messengers. I am the Lord who perform in Isaiah chapter 44. Who perform the, that confirms the word. Let's pick it back. Take you to verse, from verse 24. Verse 24. Uh, he said that says the Lord, your Redeemer. Say, God is my Redeemer. God is my, God is my, redeemer. my redeemer. Say, God is my Redeemer. God is, God is my, my redeemer. redeemer. One of the reasons why Satan couldn't end or terminate Job's testimony was because Job knew and he believed that his, his Redeemer, who was God, lives. My redeemer. Job said, I know my Redeemer in Job chapter 1926 or so 25 i know my redeemer liveth <laughs> and 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 that he shall stand at the latter days upon the earth when everyone has fallen he my, my god will be standing he is the bright and the morning star he is the bright when the morning star is there's a particular in the night uh, in the night, when you live in uh, uh, regions of clear skies, you see a lot of stars. And some of the stars shine brighter and others are kind of okay. But what happens is that when the night is getting over, when uh, dawn is coming, all the light, the stars begin to fade away. But there tends to be a particular star that still keeps shining even when the dawn is coming. All the stars go, but the bright is called the morning star. Yeah. When all the stars have, have, have finished, the, the night is over and the, all the night stars are gone. There is a morning star that shines bright. Oh, that's why Jesus is the bright, according to Revelations, he is the bright and the morning star. Hallelujah. I am the root of David, the bright and morning star. He is the more, not midnight star. He is the more, the midnight is going to be over, but joy comes in the <laughs> oh, hallelujah! Amen. Weeping may endure for the night, boy. I'm talking to someone. I know I'm preaching to someone. I know God is speaking to somebody. Psalm, Psalm 30, verse 5. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy! But joy comes when? In the morning. Because the mo in the morning, the morning star will still be shining. <laughs> the, he is the bright and the morning star. So it doesn't matter what the enemy is doing at night. In Luke chapter 20, um, I think 23, uh, uh, no, 22 or so, the, the devil is, is called, the, yeah, Luke, Luke 22, 50, 53, 
um, the works of darkness. Jesus, Jesus told them that now is the time. Your time has come. It's the work of darkness, the hour of darkness. He says, but this is your hour and the power of darkness. See, so the power of darkness, and you remember I told you, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, Ephesians chapter 6, against rulers, watch this, rulers, watch this, don't miss this, you see that, that, rulers of the darkness of this world. Darkness, he said, for he has delivered us from the kingdom of darkness. Christ has, de he has, he has delivered us, Colossians chapter 1, yeah. Who has delivered us from the power, the, actually the power of darkness. Darkness has got power. Satan has got power. Satan has got power. But Jesus said to his disciples, Behold, I give you power over all the works of the enemy. Luke chapter 10 from verse 78 and 19 said, Behold, I give you power over all the way. Behold, I, I give you, you power to tread upon serpents and upon scorpions and over all, all what, all what, all what, over all the power. So if you are not in Christ, Satan will overpower you. Satan will overpower you. He said, I give you power. Over all the power. He has different types of power he operates with. Go, Jesus said, I give you disciples. I give you power. And he said, nothing shall by any means hurt you. When Jesus went into the wilderness to fast, all he came out with, he didn't come out with anything. He didn't bring money. He didn't bring bread. He didn't bring, he went and fasted. But all he came with, the, from, uh, where he came from the wilderness with is power. Luke 114, sorry, 440, I'm sorry, came with power. He returned in the power of the Spirit. <laughs> he returned in the, that, that is enough. So he says that I give you authority over all the power, over all the power of the enemy. Now we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers and the rulers of the darkness of this world. There's darkness of this world. It operates everywhere. Let me show you where the kingdom, the powers of darkness operate more comfortably. It's, it, it operates more comfortably and then where it actually likes to operate. Okay, It operates more comfortably where there is a lot of, or where there is occultic activities. When there is occultic activities, so any family that has a lot of, of occultic, occultic activities going on, occult. All right, some of you who co who consult clairvoyants and consult obia doctors and consult uh, uh, um, palm readers and soothsayers, you have um, what do you, horoscope. No wonder your life is filled with horror. Horror. You have mm -hmm. horoscope books of horror and you've always been reading the horoscope can't you see your life is 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 full of horror <laughs> get rid of that horoscope and horoscope and, and get the word of god get the word of god Amen. get the word of god Amen. hallelujah Amen. you are coming to receive prayer meanwhile the foundation of your precious is horos uh, horoscope horoscope or what <laughs> whatever and you say my star is what uh, uh zodiac and uh, what all those kind of demonic rubbish? Those these are demons. They are demons. I'm telling you, they are demons. A pastor, I don't know why when I go and sleep, all these things are happening because you've exposed yourself to demons. Okay, so Satan operates freely where there is a lot of occultic. Maybe you never knew. So just some of you might have uh, that, what's that thing called? Crystal ball. Crystal ball means for demonic oppression. Mm -hmm. I think I may have to. Take my time and teach on how demons come into people's life. Yeah. Roots, the roots. Fornication is one of the easiest roots. Yeah, you didn't know. Fornication, sexual immorality, and um, sexual, uh, se uh, yeah, sexual immor immorality and pollution. So any nation where there's a lot of sexual immorality, there's a lot of demonic activities. Suits and looking posh. Doesn't mean 
demon free zone. <laughs> Hollywood has a lot of devils working there. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> How can you say that? Yeah, yeah, I've just said it. Just, just pray about it. God will open your eyes to know. A lot of devils. I'm not saying, okay, let's leave that. So, demons like operating or evil spirits, the power of darkness operates easily and comfortably anywhere there is occult. That is why all the places where there's active practice of um, occultism or idolatry, wherever there is active practice of idolatry, occult, witchcraft, anywhere you see they, they promote witchcraft, yeah, Satan is just finding easy to operate. And Satanism, this, this sign, eh? some of you who do this sign, it means Satan, Satan it's a Satanism, it's for Satanism. You are following Jay-Z, Jay-Z, you go ahead and tell me what is wrong with also enjoying some of this music. Go ahead and enjoy it. No one, no, it's your own money now, it's your own ears, enjoy it. Someone must be responsible in telling you how the means, the channels, the avenues through which if, uh, Satan will ex exact his purposes, his intentions, and his demands on your life. I can't just be sitting here prophesying and casting out devils and not show you how the means through which Satan afflicts you. It's irresponsible. That would be a very, very uh, that would be irresponsible on my on my part. So if I'm casting devils, then I have to show you the means through which they also afflict you. So then if you are wise enough, you begin to follow the instructions and stay safe. Why would the doctors be healing you and not tell you the cause of your sickness? And then you go and you get infected again. And you come. It, the reason why they say wear masks is so that you don't catch the virus. So some of these things we teach, the teachings can be a platform. It's like serve as spiritual mask wearing uh, social distancing and uh, face covering and s sanitizing your hands and yourself. So it's necessary. It's necessary. So Satan operates, uh, the powers of darkness operate to, through places. So in certain areas of, in Africa, in India, in certain places where occult is strong, you see Satan operates easily. Satan operates easily. Sometimes people die strange deaths. Strange that they, they, people give birth and then one of the limbs is a goat. Can you imagine? I mean, well, I mean, how can you explain it this with science? Someone gives birth and then the ear is like uh, <laughs> a dog. And usually, so some of the Asian, Asia territories where occultism is strong, Sometimes you do, the things that tend to happen is very strange. All right. So Satan operates more where there's occultism too, where false religions, where mm. false religions are dominant, Satan operates very easily. But the places or uh, three where there are a lot of S uh, sexual immoralities and sexual libertinism. Sexual liberties. If it feels good, do it. If it feels good, Satan loves it. Satan, and uh, usually he uses intellectual, demon possessed intellectuals to push policies. <laughs> so he can, the kingdom of darkness can rule. There are certain people when you see them, you can tell this one is really possessed. Really possessed. But it can be explained away with, oh, but that's, that's my style. Some things don't look like a style. It looks like madness. <laughs> I mean, how can drawing tattoos all over your head, and every piece everywhere, it's, it's not a style. It's, 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 it's a reflection. It's a reflection. Somebody needs help. Somebody needs help. Forces of darkness have taken over. They can possess a person and use the person aggressively. Satan is such a bad devil. That's why he doesn't want you to be in church. There are certain sicknesses which Satan himself makes sure he brings. No doctor can heal you of that sickness. Some sickness. Some sickness doctors can heal because Satan is the sponsor. Satan brought it. 
Satan said, you, I'm bringing you sickness. Sometimes they can send your name to a shrine. And if you are not on cover, the enemy can easily get you like a cheap meat. So wherever there, there is a lot of sexual liberties and all kinds of sinnings, sins, sinful activities, wicked activities, lying, maliciousness, wickedness. Men are mean. And all those things, they create room for demonic operation, easy do demonic operations, the, the kingdom of darkness. Am I explaining something to somebody? Yes, yes. yes. These things are very important. But the places Satan also likes to, these are the places he just feels comfortable. He just normally. But he has his eyes in certain areas. The kingdom or the, the powers of darkness has their eyes. Satan has his eyes in certain areas. Places of authority. Because with, you, with one policy, you can destroy a lot of lives. Just one policy. One policy. Most of us like some things. Even if it to destroy your life, you like it. Thank God for our government, which, who says that um, you can't smoke in certain places. And they are discouraging people from smoking. There are policies now, uh, uh, cigarette companies cannot display or are not allowed to advertise cigarettes in a glamour or glamorize cigarette smoking. Okay, smoking uh, cigarette companies are not allowed to, it's, it's a policy. So some people who are growing, young people will not see it and think it's an, it's an own thing to do. So what people keep seeing, they easily begin to uh, mimic or imitate. So thank God for those kind of policies, like policies like where underage, they won't sell alcohol to you. In certain parts of the world, it's hard to just go and um, be uh, spending night with a, a man or a woman. Even the man doesn't have anywhere to spend the night with you. He doesn't. So it's 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 it's, it's, it's hard. Oh, the woman, you understand that? So now let's get let let me get back to what I was trying to. Do. So policies. So Satan would like to hijack individuals who have influence and authority, especially in government, and then use them to make policies that can, that can push the ag agenda of Satan. That's why it's necessary for the church to pray for our leaders. Somebody might be such a good man, a good woman, enters into politics and become, becomes a leader. So then suddenly the person has changed. You are shocked that this person, is this now how he's talking? Is this what he's doing? Sometimes there are powers that influence them. So we have to insulate them in prayer. So instead of just castigating our leaders, we need to pray for our leaders. That's what the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1. Pray for our leaders. Pray for all those in authority. Pray, first of all, intercession. Pray. Give it for all men, verse 2. Verse 2, for kings and all that are in authority. Pray for them. Why? So we can live a peaceable life. I like in James, peaceable life. Quiet and a peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. All right. So the kingdom of darkness likes those places. And it also likes media. Satan likes to, Bible said, he's called the power of the earth. Didn't you see Ephesians? Ephesians chapter 2 verse 2. Yeah. Where in the past you walk, yeah, you walk according to the prince of the power of the earth. Did you see that? That's Satan. He's the prince of the power of the earth. So in the, in the uh, darkness, Satan is, uh, is re reflected as the, um, uh, uh, the, the ruler of the, powers of the powers of darkness or the darkness of this world. So it's Satan and his demons. But so, but, so Rippy may endure in the night. That the night symbolizes darkness. But joy comes in the morning. And watch this. He is a bright and the morning star. So... The time of your joy, Jesus is ahead of you. Before you wake up, the bright and the morning star, it doesn't show up in the morning. It's always part, whilst the other stars are there, it's there. But they will all go and he'll still be standing in the morning. He's a bright and the morning star. And the good news is that 
Jesus Christ being the bright and the morning star, there is a dawning of a new day. Uh, I'm prophesying. There is the dawning of a new day for somebody's family. Yes, I'm talking about you. There is the dawning of a new day for somebody's ministry. There is a dawning of a new day for somebody's career. There is a dawning of a new day. Look, this corona pandemic season, it may look like it's a period of darkness, but always morning comes, a joy comes in the morning, and morning comes up after the darkest period okay so the the darkest the darkest night is nearest the morning hallelujah the wow. darkest night is nearest the morning you might be in a very dark night but i know that god is going to see you through because the morning star is going to shine on you and going to put laughter in your mouth the morning star will shine on you and put laughter in your mouth the morning star will shine on you and put laughter in your mouth the morning star will shine on you and put laughter in your mouth i see that happening for you if you believe it shall hallelujah Hallelujah. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. I see your joy coming. As you connect yourself, as you open your heart, you will see. Jesus said, Did I not tell you that you will see the, the, the glory of God if you believe? You will see the glory of God. John, John 11, 40, 40 and 41. You will see the glory of God if you believe. Somebody is about to see the glory of God. Somebody is about to see the glory of God. I said, somebody is about to see the glory of God. Amen. If you are the one I'm talking about, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening. To hear more from David Entry, follow him on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Why don't you subscribe to our YouTube channel at Caris Church? And subscribe to our podcast so you are always up to date. Be blessed.